Hi Gemini, I hope you're doing well and happy holidays. This is going to be your yearly tarot reading for 2019. Let's jump right into it. This reading is going to consist of two parts, the first half of the year and the second the first half of the year and the second half of the year. So let's jump right into it. Gemini. What can Gemini expect to happen in the first half of 2019? Okay. Oh my God. Money. Okay. What about the second half of the year? Okay, guys. So at the bottom of the deck, you do have a Knight of Swords. It could be a lot of aggressive energy throughout the year, uh, whether from you to others or from others to you. However, this talks about a lot of information coming in um, quickly. You know, this could be maybe opportunities that come in quickly, information that comes in, comes in or news that come in quickly, something along those lines. Uh, but the energy of the year will be pretty fast, pretty aggressive. You will be charging forward, whatever you need to be doing. Okay, you will not be, um, you will not take your time with it, right? So in the first half of the year, I do have Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. All of these are Pentacles. These are the financial cards, guys. So something regarding your career. Uh, probably money is going to be very significant to you in the first half of the year. Let's start with Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles could be something that you've been wanting, something that you need to possess, and it's coming to you, but slowly. Uh, maybe you're not necessarily going to receive it in the very beginning of the year, but you're going to see it coming. Okay, so why is Knight of Pentacles here? Too many... The devil. The devil uh, could be you being impatient, honestly. Um, you know, the devil is our fears. It doesn't always mean uh, drinking, um, smoking, doing drugs, being obsessed with sex. You know, it's not always like this. Devil is just our fears, something within us that stops us from reaching our goals. Um, this is anxiety. This is just a very uncomfortable feeling, honestly. So the devil clarifying Knight of Pentacles could be that maybe you are moving towards your goal. You're moving slowly, but sometimes you catch yourself thinking, you know, what if it's wrong? What if it's not for me? And all of that stuff. But keep in mind that this goal is either coming towards you or you are moving towards this goal. You're moving in the right direction. Uh, towards, I want to say, um, towards spring, the beginning of spring, you get Ten of Pentacles. First of all, Ten of Pentacles is reunions. You know, this is you and other people reuniting, you're in, you and family members. This could be you receiving help from family members or you helping uh, somebody in your family. However, this is that feeling that a person has that everything is great. You know, my family is healthy. I'm healthy. I have the money that I need. I'm stable. I'm secure. I feel at peace. Um, that's the type of feeling Ten of Pentacles gives you. Okay, so why is Ten of Pentacles here? With Knight of Wands. This could be a lot of ambitious energy that comes along with you having this peaceful and very stable uh feeling throughout the first half of the year uh, again this could be either family members this could be friend, mostly family members or maybe your uh, romantic partner uh, you feeling very secure and stable with them even if it doesn't necessarily mean uh, improvement in finances right this could be stability in other aspects of your life however it does look like something regarding money is going to drastically improve and you're going to feel very ambitious to move forward if you feel the devil energy in the beginning where you're fearful maybe where you're in your head now later on in the year you're going to feel more ambitious you're going to feel more confident to move forward and the last card in the first half of the year is King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, guys, is the most stable uh, king. This is somebody that has a lot of possessions. This is somebody that knows how to manage money. This is somebody that, 
you go to for help, you go to, I don't know, for financial advice and stuff like that. There could be an earth sign in your life that's going to be significant, somebody that maybe will help you regarding your career, somebody that will help you regarding your stability. But at the same time, King of Pentacles is you. You know, this is you, you um, having what you need, you feeling how you should be feeling. This is financial abundance. Why is King of Pentacles here? Yep, this is you, okay? Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles talks about you feeling content, you feeling satisfied, you feeling independent and free regarding your finances. This is almost like you worked really, really hard and now you can enjoy the rewards, now you can dress nice, or now, now you can buy yourself something nice and now you can buy something nice for your family or your loved ones, right? Uh, this is you just feeling good, feeling on cloud nine, is that what they say? Uh, beautiful. Financially, guys, the first half of the year seems amazing. It's just it gives you so many opportunities to grow so many opportunities to feel more confident uh, so if you're nervous about your finances just know the first half of the year is going to drastically it's going to drastically improve okay now the second half of the year we're starting out with five of wands so five of wands is a uh, competition it's the uh, feeling of competition is the feeling of you know uh, lots of lots of things happening um, it's very busy you know it's very uh, fiery there could be bickering involved but I feel like this is just the energy the overall energy for you how things are going to be going for you you might find yourself being really busy towards the second half of the year why is five of wands here four of cups you don't really feel like dealing with that, but you will have to. You know, your uh, five of wands is your general energy. It's like it will be happening whether you want to be engaging in it or not. You know, maybe you could um, find yourself hesitate for a little while to start certain projects because there could be competition involved. Okay, um, and maybe you could uh, stop yourself sometimes and hesitate. But please don't because it's going to be fine. Trust me, I see it in the cards already. The next card I have here is Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is, again, being tired, being exhausted, but moving forward, not giving up. However, this is also a card of hesitation and feeling guarded towards towards something. Towards maybe success, literally. Uh, because uh, the first half of the year is very successful for you you know this is something that could help you uh, with your stability with your security however the second half of the year it's almost like in order for you to keep what you're going to gain in the first half you will have to manage how to keep it right you will have to figure out a way how to keep it you will figure out a way how you will have to figure out a way how to move forward and gain more maybe and uh, that's why there could be some hesitation here. There could be some uh, defensive, you know, energy here. So why is nine of wands here? Three of pentacles. Good. So with three of pentacles, you're not alone in this. Okay. You're going to find people or people are going to find you. Someone that is going to help you, somebody that's going to compromise with you and meet you halfway. So don't worry, especially if it's something major, like a major project that you've been wanting to work on and you feel like you can't do it all alone, even though you started, right? You started out, but you can't completely do it all alone. You will have people on your side. You will have somebody that's going to help you, somebody that's going to maybe guide you. Okay, so don't worry about that. And the last card I have here is Page of Pentacles. So you're going to receive more opportunities. You're going to receive maybe a raise at work, maybe some kind of financial gift. Maybe it's going to be a sum of money so you can invest it into something, right? Page of Pentacles gives you something. And it, it gives you something on the practical, tangible um, level. So why is Page of Pentacles here? I also just saw Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And page of Wands is also all about exciting opportunities. Wow. And the chariot. 
so guys this is a year of success this is a year of reaching success this is a year of competition you are fighting off that competition and still staying confident and moving forward and succeeding at something being victorious you know the chariot is a victory card no matter what uh, yes it could be moving forward and of course you're gonna be moving forward you're going to be getting opportunities here and there you're going to be getting your rewards here and there uh, just make sure you move forward just make sure you do not look uh, in the past right um, you are going to feel very victorious by the end of the year and this is a big victory you know, it's not something minor. It's actually big. It's something that's going to influence your life for a few years. So that's what I have here right now, guys. Uh, beautiful year. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.